Hello, it's Nick and today I want to show you how to create a user flow in FigGem. We will create a login flow. But before we start drafting it, it's important to say a few words about what user flow is and why it's important. What is a user flow? A user flow is a diagram that shows the path a user will take through your app or website to achieve a particular goal. It outlines a series of steps and interactions a user go through from initial entry point to the final point. A user flow will give you a clear understanding of what pages you need to design and why. It will help everyone understand the logic behind your design and ultimately leads to better information architecture of your product. Now let's talk about how to design a user flow. User flows are typically represented as visual diagrams. Most of the time the diagrams include the following five elements. Start point – the entry point where the user begins the interaction with your product. If you design a mobile app, the entry point will likely be the home page of your application. When you design a website, there can be multiple entry points. Entry point can be any page on your website because users might land on your website from Google search results. End point – the final destination where the user completes the task or achieves their objective. Entry and endpoints are typically represented by circles. Page – the various pages or screens that the user goes through. Decision points – decision that the user makes along the way. This includes interaction with buttons, forms, menus and other UI elements. The decision point typically has the shape of the diamond. Arrow – arrows show user navigation along with the actions they take to complete the task. I will create a sign-in flow. The user will sign in to their account to check their bonus points. One important thing about user flow – you always need to make it contextual, meaning you need to define upfront what the user wants to achieve before drafting the flow. In my case, the user who has an account in the web service wants to check how many bonus points they have right now. The user flow will start from the home page. Next, the user will click Sign in and navigates to the login page. On the login page, they will choose an option to sign in using email. The user will need to provide email and password, and the system will validate this information. The decision point will be, did the user provide valid credentials? There can be two routes, one for valid credentials and another for invalid credentials. If the user provided valid credentials, the system needs to check if the user signed in from the new device. For security reasons, if the user signs in from a new device, they will need to complete additional security check. But what if the user provided invalid credentials? In this case, the system should show an error message. The user might mistype email or password, or forget their password. If the user forgets their password, they should be able to reset it. However, a user should be able to type email or password again. So we need to create an arrow back to decision point with the validating credentials. I tend to use the solid lines for primary path and dashed lines for alternative path. It makes user flow less busy. Ok, what if the user decides to reset the password? They need to type their mail address on the password reset page. They will receive email from our web service with instructions and a link to password reset. When they click this link, they will see a form for entering a new password. When the user creates a new password, they should see a password updated page. Another thing that I want to mention is that the user flow is not set in stone. It means that when you create a user flow, you can introduce changes if you think that it will make the user flow more meaningful for other people. In my case, I will change the name of pages to make them more clear. When the user creates a new password, they should be redirected to the email login form. Now let's cover the path when the user tries to log in from a new device. If that happens, we need to send a confirmation code to the user's email for security reasons. The user should copy the code from email and submit it to the form. The decision point will be, is the code valid? If the user provided an incorrect code, we need to show an error message. And the user should be able to resend the code again to the email. But if the code is valid, we can navigate the user to the private area, the user account. And the end of our user flow will be a user account page where the user will see their bonus points. We finished the first path – sign in using email. But we also need to provide other ways of signing in to the account, for example, using social login like Google. 
The user should be able to choose an option to sign in with Google on a login page. And they will need to complete a Google authentication. If authentication successful, they will be redirected to the private area, their account page. So the path is much easier from a technical point of view than a path with email. Here is the user flow we've created today. Let me know if you have any questions about creating user flow. Thank you.